So 68% of all people in America today are saying, I've got a significant amount of stress as it relates to this election. My question to you is, how are you feeling? The American Psychology Association says people are freaked out about what's going on in what they consider the most consequential election since Abraham Lincoln. You know, when you're looking at America right now, do I get a stimulus check or not? Come on, Congress. Come on, President. Come on, Pelosi. Come on, Trump. Come on, Republicans. Come on, Democrats. Am I going to get my stimulus check? Come on. I need some money to pay the bills. Uh, You're looking at people right now with the stock market up, down, up, down, up, down. I think last week, three days in a row, negative, 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 negative. This morning, thank God, there's some form of a bump. For my fellow citizens in Illinois, we're going to find out whether or not Governor Pritzker's progressive tax amendment, sweeping changes to how people get taxed here in the state of Illinois, are going to stay the same or be upticked to a progressive tax code. Where the more money you're making here in the state of Illinois, the more money they're going to tax you. To my fellow people there that want to make more money in 2021, 2022, you're going to get taxed more potentially. So your vote is that important at the voting booth. And last but not least, the media. You're doing such a good job of keeping us in chaos. You're doing such a good job of keeping us in conflict and keeping us in a position of being confused. What goes on? I think the, the, the news out there is 150% uh, or 150 times more negative news about Trump than there is about Biden. But that goes without saying. But I'm looking at the situation right now. What can you do about it? If you're the type of person that says, listen, I still got to pay the bills. If you're the type of person that says, I still got to pay the rent. I still got to feed my family. I still want to get ahead financially. I still want to grow a business. I still want to advance in my career. What do you do? Because regardless of what's going on with this election, here's a reality. Your, our reality is this. We still got to pay the bills. We still got to write a checkbook. We still got to swipe the credit card. We still got to go, go out there and plan for our kids, plan for our families, advance our families financially, and get ahead. So people are asking me, what would you do? Money smart guy, what would you do in this particular situation with 68% of people all feeling anxiety? So here's my three thoughts. Three thoughts I'd be thinking about. Number one, vote early now. Get it done. Or if you haven't gotten it done, get your voting plan together, hopefully <laughs> sooner than later, but get your voting plan together and then go vote. And if you've already voted, move on. If you haven't voted, get your voting plan together. They're just going out there and say, oh, it's about marketing. Oh, it's about whose name do I see the most. Oh, it's about what these commercials I see. Go out there and actually have a voting plan so you're voting more logically this year, or for the first time if you're ever voting, you're voting more logically than emotion. Because here's what I realized. When you vote emotionally, sometimes based on peer pressure, you vote. And that may not be the right vote. And so please have a voting plan. So therefore, when you do go to the polls, you have a plan of how to actually vote, have confidence in your vote saying, I'm voting for the right candidate. and I'm exercising my right to vote here as a citizen in the United States of America. The second thing I'd be thinking about, plan for the worst, but expect the best. When I'm looking at news here of retailers and restaurants putting uh, boards back up, because they're planning for riots, they're planning for chaos happening, plan for the worst, but expect the best. But they're making sure that uh, they don't have to file another insurance claim on their businesses or their, their homes being broken into, or their restaurants being broken into, or retail stores being broken into. But they are planning for the worst, but they're expecting the best. Is it worth it for you to pay for the boarding? Is it worth it for you to have some form of protection? Is it worth it for you? I heard, I heard some news about some Secret Service uh, personnel being hired to protect people's businesses and retail locations. Is it worth it for you to spend that extra money so therefore you have a little bit more peace of mind to protect what you've built and what you value the most. And one of the things that I've always been advocating, especially if you're a follower of my YouTube channel, if you're a follower of the Money Smart Guy here on on, on Instagram and Facebook is, you gotta find a way to start a business. You gotta find a way to create some more options for you outside of just your traditional job. Or if you're in a business right now that's getting hammered significantly by the pandemic, you might be in the wrong sector, you might be in the wrong business, or you find a way to attack that same sector from a different angle, but it's time for you right now to significantly change and adapt So therefore, you can overcome. Right now is the time to do it. The third thing I'd be thinking about is controlling your media consumption, controlling your watching of the news, play by play by play by play, especially going to and through the election. Obviously, we're gonna be there watching the TV in terms of who gets voted, but between now and then, pause. Don't look at the news. Don't look at media because their job is to do what? Their job is to keep your eyeballs glued to the TV station. Their job is to keep your eyeballs glued to the network. By doing what? The three C's, confusion, chaos, conflict, that's what they get paid to do. They get, they get paid to sell you on those three things. It's not to educate you. It's not to, it's not to improve your life by giving you positive and encouraging news. No, majority of the mainstream media's job is to provide conflict, chaos, 
and to show conflict. If they can advance these three things on their agenda, they're getting advertisers, they're getting their, their, their sponsors happy that their ratings are up and they have more confidence in striking them a check for media advertising. Now, with that being said too, I'd be also careful what you watch on social media. Yes, social media, not just mainstream media, but also social media, because if you watch that show, The Social Dilemma, on, on Netflix, there's a documentary saying that whatever you're liking, whatever you comment on, whatever you're searching for, whatever you're clicking on, they want to show you more of that. So if you're, all you're watching is conservative content, if all you're watching is liberal content, if all you're watching is anti-Trump, all you're watching is pro-Biden, not negative Biden, not pro-Trump, you're flooding yourself with algorithms that these social networks want to send you because that's what they get paid to do. They get paid to keep your eyeballs on their social media apps too as well, just like the mainstream media gets paid to keep your eyeballs on their network. So process that and understand that this game is being played right now with your attention, which is encouraging more and more today to be more of an independent thinker, to get multiple resources, not just one, not just two, but multiple resources and hopefully independent to help you come up with your own views and how you're about to educate yourself to be more proactive of rising above this situation. And here's my encouragement to you. I've been an entrepreneur now for 21 years. I've been in one industry for 21 years. I've been in the area of personal finance and dealing with clients and dealing with the public and our community for 21 years. And here's what I realized. No matter what goes on in the White House, the most important thing is what goes on in your house. Yes, your house, your responsibilities. You're taking ownership of whatever situation gets thrown your way. You're taking responsibility for how you lead your families. You taking responsibility for how you are leaning towards getting your plan towards financial freedom and financial independence. You are responsible for that. No matter what goes on in the White House, the most important thing what goes on in your house. It's your choices, your control, your, your neighborhood, your community. You take ownership of it. Don't wait for any outside entity to tell you what to do. You take control of what you can control right now because what you can control gets you a little bit more happier, uh, gets you a little bit more proactive, and removes a lot of the anxiety that one would face, especially if you feel that a lot of things are out of your control. So if you haven't finalized your vote yet, I suggest you watch this video right here on how to vote like an aspiring millionaire or at least somebody that wants to be financially free, financially independent, consider watching this video. And by the way, just to let you know, I didn't tell you who to vote for. I'm teaching in this vote how to engage your thought process and how to get the best vote when you go visit the voting booth. And the second video I want you to watch is how to avoid burnout and how to build for the betterment of your family, regardless of these chaotic times. That being said, guys, exciting times here in 2020, this election right now. So I hope that you go out there and do your thing and exercise your right to vote. I'm your mighty smart guy, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be mighty smart today.